Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Homebrewing with April. I'm basically in Singapore at the moment and I'm, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna visit Mian that lives there. So come on up. Hello. Awesome. So we're, uh, we're inside and uh, let's brew some coffee, no? Mian's house. <laughs> Let's go for it. Okay, so okay. what are we like you do you what are you doing now? What's the first thing you're gonna do when you brew coffee? Um, I will pour some water in first. We pour up some water. Awesome. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, so usually I will pour some water to boil first. Yep. And then I will measure my beans. And then we're filling that up. Cool. So we're using we're using Evian, which I think a lot of you guys are familiar with, right? Mm -hmm. uh, why Why are we using bottle water? Um, Singapore's water you can drink for, from the tap, but uh -huh. I think that Evian water it gives you a little bit more sweetness. Personally, okay. for my, my cup of coffee, I like have more sweetness. I think the Evian water, I tried other water before, the ice water, cheap one. Uh, I feel that it's the norm, like, like normal water. Yeah. So after I try Evian, I feel that, mm, I think it makes difference. It tastes better. Okay, awesome. So how, how would it taste if I brewed water with Singapore tap water? water? Like how would the coffee taste? Mm, not as sweet as this Not as one. sweet. Okay, yeah. cool. It still have, but I think it depends on the bean. So I do try a few oh. bean roaster in, yeah. in recent years. Recently, recent few months, I really like Azellums. Okay, that's super cool though. Are you are you changing water with the roaster as well, or are you always going to use Evian? Uh, Evian. Okay, yeah. so we're using Evian because it makes coffee sweeter. That's also a good tagline. Awesome. Okay, so we're heating up the water. You're using a fellow kettle, mm -mm. Uh, but you uh, told me. Curious, you, I use this. You use this. We are going to yeah. use that today, or are you going to no, use? Okay, so. Going to use. So we actually prefer Brewista. That's me what we're too. saying, right? She does. No, I like. I prefer fellow. No, okay. Uh, so this is your favorite kettle. I, I, yeah. But it doesn't work today. Yeah. Fair point. So we're using fellow because this doesn't work. That's the argument. This right? is my favorite. Which is also okay, right? We're allowed to have favorite kettles. I think that's a good thing. So, but how come you have a fellow kettle also? Why do you have two? Oh, because this one usually I brew at home. So this is at my working place. Ah. So I brought back these from my working place. Wait, so this is like your office set of work. Oh, okay, uh, cool. This is for at home. So for office, I use this one and this one. And so for office, we, we use this. So in the future, April will do like brewing at your office video series as well, obviously. Okay, so long Super time cool. to cry. <laughs> That's true. Which is also one of the arguments why I use um, an electric grinder as well, because it takes a lot of time to do hand grinders, which is okay, but it takes time and it's a bit inconsistent. But that's that's another YouTube video for something else. Cool. Tell me a little bit more about the setup. So we have a Timor scale. Mm -mm. Awesome. One of the fancy ones that shows the gram per second, which I recently figured out existed. And that's really cool. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. So, coffee. You said your favorite grocery, Asylum. Um, asylum. Asylum. Yeah, I think okay. they do have a very, very good roaster. They do. Yeah. That's true. But I've I been drinking. They, they like you know, natural processed coffees, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you also prefer like natural processed coffees yes. over washed? Yeah. So you never brew washed coffees. It's not um, your thing. I'm not. I, I do, but I don't think I'm very particular with like natural or wash. Okay. As long as I like the taste, then I will get it. Fair point. I think so that's a good. That's a good argument. Yeah. So Asylum local roastery here in Singapore. Check them out. They have a coffee shop too. I've been there uh, a few times, which is really cool. Um, awesome. So, what are we doing now? Fifteen um, grams of coffee. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> it's good that you're precise. I respect that. Oh, yeah, it's okay, right? Okay, should we show them that so they yeah. know what we're... So, okay, so again, this is what we're doing. We're doing a Sidra varietal, mm -hmm. uh, natural lactic process. That's awesome. Um, Colombia something, Yon Vergara. Cool, medium roast, important. Uh, from Las Flores. Okay, so the farm is Las Flores, varietal is Sidra, natural lactic process. Yeah. Awesome. It should taste like raisins, blackberries, molasses, and lavender, mm -hmm. according to this. And we're about to find out if that's true. No? Okay, yeah? Let's find it out. Let's find <laughs> Probably out. only the barista can find it out. Let's hope it's true. Okay. I mean. So I'm going to grind it. 
So you get it how you use 6.3 around there. 6.3, okay. Awesome. Or maybe I should try 6. Or some maybe try something different. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But I think for this one, um, one thing you can see inside. Yeah. You can see through. Oh. Yeah. So, um, why did you buy this grinder? Oh, it's easier. It took a few a few seconds only. Uh huh. But if I use the previous, I do I do prefer to have um manual grinder. Okay. And I feel like I have uh, some more time in the morning for myself. Yeah. Yeah, but after that, I feel like cannot cannot make it <laughs> late to work. So ah. I had any extra okay. So it's a, it's a speed thing. You want to be efficient in the morning, mm -mm. which also makes a lot of sense. But why did you get this specific model? So this is one of the fellow grinders, mm -hmm. right? One yeah. of the, the latest one. The name is o Oppo, I think. Oppo? Oppo. Awesome. Oppo. Okay. Oppo. I actually, we haven't done a video on this because uh, I got an American one and plugged it into Copenhagen, which wasn't very smart. Uh, but it's an interesting grinder. I did use it before, <laughs> before that. Um, and why did you get like this specific one? Is it like an aesthetic choice? Um, is it a price choice? I Price is always the first, I think, for Price is first. Yeah. We are not professional, yeah. so that it's easier for us. I think this one, I got in ten side lesser than 300. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's like okay and can save some hassles in the morning. Yeah. yeah. So basically, value, value for money is what we're going for here, which makes it's also a lot of sense. Easy to clean. That's an yeah. important one, yeah. for sure. Uh, which is important also for professional brewers out there that should all clean their equipment better. Nice. Cool, so we're at 94. I Let's do some to, brewing. Yeah. To use 90. Okay. Yeah. So it's too high for you? A little bit high. Ah, okay. But let's, let's uh, you can just open the lid, take it yeah. off a bit. So uh, then we take down I the... Add some water in. Awesome. That does make a lot of sense. I think you have to add quite a lot if you want to. Not too much. Oh, you okay. clearly done this before, so I'm, I'm just going to be quiet and let you do your thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. So now we're setting up. Yeah. Also a fellow, sir. You clearly like fellow. Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. It's easier to find it. Ah, okay, so your your choice of equipment is based on also what is just available and easy to find. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I got this one from Australia, but I can't find it in Singapore for others. If not, I would get a uh, barista instead of fellow. Okay. Yeah. Fair point though. Fellow should listen to this and yes, become more... Right. Yeah. <laughs> Step one, rinsing the paper filter. Awesome. Are you following the debate online now versus like um, rinsing filter or not rinsing filter? I read, read some about it from Taiwan Cafe. Uh -huh. Some they do say that they, they love to rinse it and some they say it's okay not to rinse it. Ah, okay. But I think yeah, yeah. it depends on individual. Yeah. Are you like watching a lot of the the online stuff like Reddit and coffee blogs and stuff? I watch or... April Fool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Some April Fool from YouTube. Some April Fool, yeah, yeah, cool. I can't watch all because my <laughs> schedule is quite quite tight also. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, so fair enough. Is there anyone else you're you're what, like recommending people to to watch or check out that is not April? Because for me, I'm more in Chinese speaking, so I will watch oh. that Taiwanese. Okay. Yeah, so there is a called A B, I can R B or A B something. Okay. Yeah, I can't really remember the name, but they do recommend some like recipes, beans from Taiwan. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Super cool. But I can't remember the name. Fair enough. So we we find that out somewhere and put it somewhere on some kind of link or whatever. So we're brewing coffee now. Yes. Could you tell us what you're gonna do a little bit before you're doing it also, so we can and know. Um, so before I start, you hear that I will have a smell. Like what's the differences? Like different bean. Some uh -huh. they do have very interesting smell. Sure. Like cast, uh, castillo. Okay. What's that bean called? Like the, the bridal, yeah, yeah the castillo, yeah. Peach and strawberry. I like ah. the strawberry. The honey yeast. Okay. The, the fermento is very different. It's very different. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Cool. So we're dosing fifteen grams of of coffee. How much water are we going to pour on this? I use 250, uh, 240. 240, okay. Yeah, so and are we I doing do like multiple pours? Pour, three pours, yeah. all right. 
Can I start? You go for it, and then just walk us walk us through. Why are the temperatures so high? So it's a little bit higher again there, yeah? Yeah, we'll pour in some more water, and then we're good to go. Right, that's going up. Yeah, go for it. What do you find like if you brew, let's say, with ninety-five degrees water? What's um, the main it difference? It turns out that a bit, uh, if more than ninety, I uh. think ninety-two more than ninety-two, I think it's turned out a little bit bitter. Okay. So basically, a higher brewing temperature, bitter coffee is what we're what we're saying here. Yeah, fair enough. And 50 grams in the first pour ish. Yeah. 10, uh, 10 seconds. So I will wait for 20. I wait for 30 seconds. I will do the second pour. Uh huh. And how big is the second pour? Second pour, I will do 160. Okay. Uh -huh. Have you tried a lot of different ways of pouring water on the coffee? Um, sometimes I try equal four pour. Yeah. 50, 50, 50 for 200 ml. Mm hmm. I'm also getting nervous. No, it's okay. <laughs> 50. So I'm going to pour to 160. Uh-huh. And you're always pouring in, in uh, kind of a circle pour? Yeah. Yeah. One sixteen. Awesome. And did you like try a lot of different recipes before you kind of came up to this, or mm -hmm. was this something you kind of found pretty good? Previous, quickly? I used there's an app called Filter. Filter. Uh, yeah. So when I first started, I used this app. These are. Ah, cool. Do you want to kind of show that to the? This yeah. one. Okay, am I allowed to do this? Yeah. I'm just gonna press this, and I'm gonna do this, and then this is an app apparently. Um, filter, F I L T R U, something like that. Here we go. That's awesome. I've never seen this app. It's for beginner, you don't need Am I allowed to press on stuff? Yes, yes. So I'm pressing on stuff. It's a pretty cool app, actually. Yeah. Harry Brewer. And that was the last pour? Yeah. Yeah. So last that pour around 2 minutes, 11 seconds, 10 yeah. seconds. So I usually I go around, then at two, uh, one fifty eight, I will go straight down. Okay, awesome. And what what is the kind of total brew time we're we're aiming for? Um, two thirty. Two thirty. Okay. Yeah. So two thirty, you're kind of lifting it off. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So. And then we're getting some gum. That's some pretty cool cups, though. Yeah. <laughs> What's the main uh, like reasoning behind the cup? Just for, like visually, or you think it tastes better, or? Uh, I feel like it warm up the cup. Yeah. And then I keep the coffee, the coffee consistent, the warm. Yeah, yeah. sure. That is. Uh huh. I'm not very. Good. No, I think that's a great kind of steal one as well. Um, I'm gonna steal this one. This are for you. I will use that one. Ah, okay. Sorry. This may make things difficult. That one's a true. Okay, so what are we looking for? You brewed this coffee a few times before, right? Mm -hmm. How do you like? What's a good version of this coffee? What are the flavors you're kind of looking for? And more day when you smell it. When I think when I'm do good days. I only can say good days. When uh -huh. I smell it, I can smell some like floral smell. Yeah. But I can't identify like what are the floras. Some beans they have very strong oolong, oolong smell or jasmine smell. Uh huh. Yeah, but for the good days, they are only for good days. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But this is like floral. I smell a lot of like um, black cherry, mm. kind of. Really. Quite fruity. No. <laughs> yeah. It's a very fruity coffee, no. Mm. Very fruity, very sweet. I'm gonna double check again because we did. I think it's quite different 
I'm gonna cheat it. Raisin, raisins for sure. At least like some kind of dried raisin vibe for sure. Mm -hmm. um, blackberries, molasses. Do you agree with lavender? No. <laughs> what kind of floral would you say? Um, I can't identify. Oh. Yeah. I can't identify. Definitely floral. Then there's a debate whether there's lavender or not, but that, that's okay, right? Not very good, but you can try a little. Coffee, <laughs> Coffee for stew as well. That's important, huh? I think overall this is a, a super a sweet cup of coffee. A little bit dry. It is a little bit drying. Yeah. Why, why do you think it's a bit drying? I think mm. maybe the temperature is not consistent because as I, I press... The temperature was a little bit like higher maybe? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then that last pull, the last pull I exceed the timing also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I okay. think that, that affects. What, what would you do differently for, for the next brew if you would brew this coffee again? I think I would... Man, I will keep the um, temperature at 89 or 19. 89. Okay. Uh -huh. I, usually I do 89. Cool. Yeah. Then maybe you want to give me some tips <laughs> to improve it. <laughs> so, what, what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of clip air, come back to you guys, and let's uh, we'll do one more brew. We try to do some small changes, and mm -hmm. then we'll come back to you guys and um, we'll talk about it. Yeah? Mm. Awesome. So we're back, uh, we're drinking the kind of, let's say second brew here, right? We did the first brew, we thought we could make it a little bit better, so we did. Uh, in the end of the day, that's why we're here. Uh, we went a little bit coarser on the grinder, yeah? Mm -mm. So like one, what would you call that? Like one one step, I guess, one click, one something? Mm, two, I think two click. Two clicks, Yeah. two clicks on the grinder, coarser. Um, we changed the temperature. Mm -mm. Right? What yeah. did we change it for? We we'll keep it to 89. Yeah, so we got so it like at 90 down a little bit, right? Yeah. So again, following the kind of the theory that a lower temperature makes a bit of a cleaner cup. And sweeter. And sweeter? Yeah. Uh -huh. So cleaner and sweeter. Did we, is it cleaner and sweeter? Sure, no? Mm -mm. It's more like tea light. Mm. Right? In a good way? Mm, I think so. It's like a black tea, raisin, kind of datey. The first one with higher temperature is really quite bitter to me. I mm. mean, just only for my personal sure. yeah. taste. I think this one is more like smooth. Yeah. But how can I improve from this cup? Ooh, I mean, that's, <laughs> need to a lot. that's a <laughs> need to write down. That's a long video, right? Uh, I mean, I think in general, I think this comes out fairly nice, though. I don't necessarily mind this. I think what I would maybe want to do is to try to give a little bit more um, texture Party. to it. I'm always going to be a big fan of pouring more water in the first pour. Oh, okay. So if I were you, I would still start with a 100 gram pour. Oh. Because a 100 gram pour is just going to make it a little bit more uniform and mm. make all the flavors kind of combine a little bit better because you saturate faster. Mm -mm. Um, so pour, start with 100 gram and then divide the other pours Into 50, after that. 50? Probably. So you, yours would, you would be like 50, 240 50. or 200 ml water. Um, I would use a little bit less coffee, mm. but that's not important, right? Because it's about your recipe. Mm -mm, uh, yeah. But I think in your case, I would do maybe split it into 100, mm -mm. 50, 50, 50. Okay. To kind of get a slightly different. You're going to notice that the first yeah, pour Because I feel that the, the body is not very strong, mm. right? Like, yeah. mm, that from other baristas, they when they pour, when I taste it, oh, it's really so nice. I have a lot of layers, mm. the kind of feeling that you can taste different type. Sure. So when the when the temperature goes down, the flavor also would be different. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. So we can always have to hop around. But I think you can get that here as well, right? Mm. And and if you want complexity and layers, a lot of that is a combination of different variables. Mm -hmm. So it's not just one thing, it's always mm -hmm. a little bit of everything. But I think starting by doing that first larger pour is you'd be surprised over how much that's gonna help. Okay, yeah. thank you for the tips. Thank you and thank you also <laughs> for having us here. It's super kind of you to like it better. My owner. <laughs> And as always, we want to thank all of you for watching as well. As per usual, make sure you subscribe. We have a Patreon thing that lets you know where I'm kind of 
that's good. That lets you know where I'm going next. So if you're in a city somewhere, then you know if I'm coming there, we can meet up, we can brew some coffee, who knows. Uh, this is again, like one of many videos we're gonna do of the Home Brewing with April series, right? So it's all about meeting people, visiting them in their houses, seeing how they're kind of brew and share that with all of you, right? So we just wanna thank you for letting us come in here, which is really kind of you. <laughs> thank uh, you. And again, thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Thank you. We want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you want to see because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.